Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. My name is Tracy. Your workout today is a sexy and sculpted leg and cardio workout. I did a format similar to this with arms and cardio a few weeks ago. If you remember, that one was very popular on the channel. Click the card at the top of the screen if you don't remember that one. Uh, you can download that for tomorrow. It'd be great to do the day after this. You're going to require a variety of dumbbells in the workout today, so grab those. We're going to start with a warm up and we'll end with a cool down. All right, are you ready to do this and move daily? Let's go. Hit uh, intensity, high intensity intervals as my watch setting. Reach across here. Uh, just given the, you know, lots of moves in each exercise plus the cardio component, it's going to be sort of both strength and cardio today. Good combination. All right, reach it up. Good. Yeah, the arm one is was a little bit trickier than this one because you could add. Single, single, double. You could, you can't always do it in this one coming up. You'll see what I mean in a second, but um, let's go with a squat reach. Uh, so it's not as confusing. Maybe if you did the sexy and sculpted arm one, you might have found that one slightly confusing. I loved it though, it was so fun. I know a lot of you have put that on repeat because you enjoyed that format, take it wide. So I thought I would do the leg one. I did actually give this to my three friends that I train a couple times a week. They're my only online clients right now, but uh, they loved it. They asked for a copy of it, so that was fun. So I thought we would do it. Touch your toes, stay wide here. But each move will be three times, so that helps if you're, you know, just to get the action and add that progressive overload too. Okay, three more here. All right, hands on the shoulders, a little torso twist, and pivot on that foot. Two more here. All right, hold the wall, chair, couch. We're just gonna do some leg swings here, 15 aside. Just warming up that ball and socket. Good, five more on this side. And switch. Swing, knee is soft, foot is flexed. Don't hit the ground. Five more. Nice, let's just do some hip openers here. Up and around. Two more here. All right, I'm just gonna take it wide. Little inner thigh stretch here. Drop your shoulder toward that opposite knee. Oh yeah. Nice and slow, gentle lengthening in through that inner thigh area. It always is tight for me. A couple more. Last one here. Good. All right, are you ready to start? Grab your dumbbells. Here's your first three exercises. All right, I'm gonna start just with 12s while the legs warm up. Reverse lunge, reverse lunge, suitcase squat. So holding my dumbbells here, alternating the lunge, then hitting the squat. Let's work. So take it back, other side, back, suitcase here. Nice and tall, good.
your chest up on that suitcase squat. Okay, chin up, chest up, that's it. All right, sumo squat knee, sumo squat knee into deadlift. So wide stance, feet face the front. You'll squat, high knee, alternate into that deadlift. I'm holding 12s. Sumo here, lift it up, switch sides, and up, deadlift here. Sumo, knee, sumo, knee, deadlift. Nice and wide stance lets you drop your glutes really low. Kind of ass to grass and up. Good. Last. Okay. Holy heart rate already. Woo! Okay. You're gonna do your jack skip combo. Modify right here. Okay. Let's work. Don't go too wide stance in your suitcase. You want to be able to get it nice and low. So you need a narrower stance on that guy. Okay, sumo high knee to deadlift combo. I'm gonna to switch to 15s. Wide stance, feet front. Low knee here. Low knee here, deadlift. Love the deadlift.
reverse lunge suitcase. Hold your claws again. Go heavy if you'd like. one here. Nice. Okay, back to the 15s for my sumo deadlift combo. Up on the shoulders. Wide stance. seconds in between, feel free to box or shuffle if you like. Side lunge, side lunge, squat jump. Okay. I'm gonna do this with no equipment again. I'm gonna lead with my left, lead with my right, squat jump at the bottom, but you could also do a box jump if you're feeling the need for speed or something else. <laughs> here we go. Step up, tap at the bottom, step up, and squat jump right here. Good, make it nice and high, get that heart rate up. Tap and jump. Okay. 
Knees elbow to knee, hand to toe. Okay, that's your mod. You can switch sides, alternate. I'm gonna jump this out. Here and here. quads in this round.
shoulders back. Look at me. There you go. Push through the heel. Heel. Take a look there, that's gonna be the single double glute thrust. You can also do this on the ground with a single, single, and double. All right, then I'm gonna do a sit squat, wide, narrow to deadlift again. If you don't have a bench or a chair to sit on, you can simply do a front, narrow, front, wide, into deadlift, just like that. I'll be using 20s for both uh, exercises. One to start, put it on my pelvis, Again, single leg, single leg, double. All right, on the glute thrust. Take your time here. Let's work. Drop it low, drive it high, switch legs and high together and squeeze. Low, one high, the other one high, together and squeeze. Watch your chin stays tucked into your chest. Don't rush. All right, good, that was challenging. Now, narrow, stand, wide, Stand, deadlift. Starting with my narrow, off of my shoulders. Narrow here, push, sit, take it wide. Sit, neutral, deadlift here. Pump it up, sit, narrow, push, wide, push, sit, neutral, deadlift, boom. Holding a 20, 
body. Starting with my single and work here. Low, drive, switch, drive together. Wow, not nothing. The 20 is great here for me. All right, um, Atlanta. Okay, get into position. Narrow, wide, neutral deadlift. So feet are just gonna be shoulder width apart for the deadlift. Together, push hard. Down, wide, wide, down, neutral, and lift. I'm sorry, but this is so fun, isn't it? You love this one? Me too. so far. How about you? Let me know in the comments below what you like. One, two, three, or four. We've got one more after this. Very good. forward on these sit squats. I want you to straight up from your seat, shoulders back and back is tall. Oops, I went narrow.
Heart rate up to 160. Fabulous. Get the hands involved here. Heart down and get your last circuit. All right, I'm starting with 15s here. You're gonna do a diagonal squat, left, right, into a skier. Okay, start with the weights up on your shoulders here for the squats. Core is engaged. Here we go. So take it back, squat together, other side, back. Now narrow, ski here, up. Good. Diagonal. Diagonal, take your time here, together, ski, pop, and drop. Oh, I like this one too. You gotta put your feet close together on that ski or otherwise you're gonna hit your quad. Right, Sarah? <laughs> Only my members did that. Was it on this exercise? I think so. Here, leg left here. Here, leg left here. Low in, out, or walk, walk for low impact. Lift, touch, lift. Low in, out. Lift, lift, low in, out. You need to drop your glutes. Not just bend at the back, okay? And don't come up. I'm not straightening the whole time. Oh, my glutes on fire. That was horrible. <laughs> I didn't love that. Not my favorite circuit. Okay, cardio, jab, jab, two jacks. That's your low impact. Here, here, two jacks right here. Frog, leg lift. 
you know, squat jump, white stance. You lift, lift, in and out. Boom, boom.
smash that like button. Join me for a foam rolling stretch if you can. We did actually wear our hike yesterday, and then this today. So foam rolling is what I need. You can just join in a regular stretch beside me if you don't have a roller. Holy oh, Hannah. Um, these are linked in my Amazon links below in the description. So take a look there. I love it. And you don't just do this for foam rolling. You actually find that pain point. I'm gonna start on my glute and just camp out with as much body weight pressure as you can on those tender areas. Oh, you guys, why was that so hard? <laughs> Fantastic workouts or sides. That's what the girls said, who I gave this to. They're like, that was so good. I'm like, really? All right, I'll film it. I'll do it. Um, <laughs> sometimes they're my guinea pigs. Sometimes when I do an exercise like those frog legs, I don't know if I would have made it that hard if I had known. <laughs> it's really hard. It's going to hamstrings. I'm gonna cross a leg over and just again sort of roll around for a second, find the tender spots, relax the muscle, and let the body weight fall over. <sighs> yeah, sometimes it's a lot harder than I think. Sometimes it's easier than I'm like, I gotta wrap this up a bit. I always kind of like, you know, it depends. It depends if I've had a good sleep, I've had good meals, you know, if I hadn't had wine the night before, then my workouts are usually the more strenuous ones. Um, if any of those things aren't the case, you know, or if I feel stress or anxiety, then the next day when I work out is typically not the high intensity ones, it's the strength ones where I can really focus on the muscle and take my time. I like those. I like them both. Calves, I'm popping up onto my hands here. Oh yeah, he said this is the sorest part from my hike for sure. And then the jumping today. I love that workout. Like I said, round three was my fave. Um, let me know what your fave was in the comments below. Make sure you're not rolling behind your knees. There's no muscle there, okay? You don't wanna roll in the groin, the neck, the lower back behind the knees or the armpit. Those are places really close to your nerves and ligaments. Like I said, with no muscle, so let's go into IT band. This is the most painful one. You can support yourself by bringing a leg across, get on your elbow. I'm gonna start at the bottom by my knee and just sort of make my way up when there's a pain point. I'm just camping out. I can't believe how sweaty I am though. Um, back of my hands, it's the leggings. Why did I wear these? It's because this shirt. I like this shirt a lot. I haven't worn it in a while, but it doesn't go well with my shorts because when I'm bending over, my guts fall out. <laughs> it's true. They do, and you might not think I have guts, but I do. I got them. Um, the camera hides 10 pounds. <laughs> maybe it doesn't. Maybe you're like, oh, we've seen your stomach fall out, Tracy. Thanks. Um, who cares, right? Not me. Oh, Nelly. <sighs> I don't care, but I'm gonna wear leggings with this top. <laughs> I'm gonna turn over onto my quad, just kind of leg out to the side. This actually, I'm doing this um, foam roll a lot. I feel like I have really tight hip flexors. I do stand at my standing desk a lot, but for some reason, my hip flexors have been really tight these days. So that's why I do a lot of pigeon stretch and foam rolling of the IT band and quads as well. Okay, I'm just gonna go down towards the knee slightly. Oh, Nelly. Try to release your body weight on there. Just hold it for a second or two. Well, 90 seconds ideally, but for the sake of time here, we're gonna just switch sides. All right. And starting at the bottom, bringing my leg up top for some support. Okay. Yeah, this is a, like I like I said, these three girls that I train, so I do it just Tuesday, Thursday mornings, 6 a.m. And I actually sit on this the whole time, <laughs> sitting on my glutes. Sometimes I'll, because I'm doing that on Zoom, on Zoom, sometimes I'll lie on my stomach with my hands and my chin, just watching them on the camera, <laughs> rolling my guts, rolling my legs. Oh. All right, everyone, keep at the foam rolling if you want. I gotta let you go. 
Thanks for joining, and as always, go move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition. If you're not part of our Move Daily Hustle group, it's a free Facebook group, make sure you click our top there to join. And here's that sexy and sculpted arm and cardio workout you can do tomorrow. See you in the next workout.